Have you ever tried building an AI workflow in any end, and then BAM, you're hit with this? Yeah, suddenly that simple automation just turned into an open AI subscription hunt. But what if I told you there's actually a way to continue building AI automations with any end without needing an open AI account and subscription? What? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect this free AI model with any end so that you can continue building your AI automations completely free of charge. So what are you waiting for? Let's get into it right now. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to anyn.io and get started with an account if you don't already have one or sign into your account. Once you do that, you should be brought to your dashboard over here and we can go ahead and create a new workflow. So let's just name this workflow Free AI Agents. And now let's create a very simple workflow using an AI agent. So just click on this and we'll use a manual chat trigger for now. All right, so let's get into the good stuff right now. So the secret chat model that we are going to use, which supports a free tier is Google Gemini. So going to our chat model, let's search for Google Gemini chat model. So we'll click on that. And you can see over here that I already have a Google Gemini credential over here. But for those of you that have never used Google Gemini before and have not set up the credentials yet, you need to create a new credential over here. So just click on create new credential and you should be brought to this page over here. So there are some fields that we need to fill up. For the host, you can just leave it as it is, but we need to get an API key from Google Gemini. All right, so how exactly can we create an API key? Well, we first need to go and create a Google Cloud account. So we go into our browser and we'll type in Google Cloud Console. You want to click on Google Cloud and you want to click on Go to My Console. If you don't already have an account, then it prompts you to create a Google Cloud account with your Google account. But since I've already have a Google Cloud account, then it's just brought me to this dashboard. Once you're in the dashboard, you actually want to go ahead and create a new project. You can name this project whatever you want. Let's just give it the name Free AI Agents in AN. You don't need to choose an organization, just click on Create. And it'll take some time to configure everything and create your Google Cloud project. So we can select our project. And now we are in the Free AI Agent NAN project. Sorry, great. So once we have created our project in Google Cloud, the next step is to actually create a Google AI Studio account. So we can search for Google AI Studio. And we'll click on this link over here. I've also linked it down in the YouTube description. You can see that once I've clicked on the link, it has brought me to this Google AI Studio dashboard. All right, so once you have successfully created an account and signed in, you should be brought to this dashboard. And since we want to generate a new API key, we can go over to this top right hand corner and click on this Get API Key button. This is where we can generate a new API key and we can also view our previously generated API keys. You can see that for this key that I've previously created, is under the free plan. So there's this free tier that it provides. So let's click on create API key. Then now we can search for our Google Cloud project. So you can choose the one that we previously created, which is free AI agent and N. Then we can create API key in existing project. So it's generating the API key for us and let's just wait a while. All right, great. So our API key has been successfully generated. And, and always make sure to keep this API key secure and do not share them with the public. All right, so let me just copy this API key and close out of this dialog. If you ever need to access the API key again, you can just click on the API key over here and you can copy it again. All right, so now that we have our API key, we can go back to any end and now we can paste our API key over here. We can save it. And if you did everything correctly, you should see that the connection was tested successfully. So that's great. We can close out of it now. 
we have successfully created our credentials. Alright, so over here we can also choose the model that we want. Let me just choose Gemini 2.0 Flash. That's the one that I usually use. So now let's go back to our canvas. And now you have a working AI agent that is running on Google's Gemini chat model completely for free. So we can actually go ahead and add some tools. Let's add the Wikipedia tool so that it's able to search the web for information. Let's also give it some memory. We'll just use the simple memory in any end for now. And inside of our AI agent, let's go ahead and add some additional properties, specifically the system message over here. So you are helpful assistant with the role of providing information on a given topic. Alright, and there we have it. We have a fully functional AI agent running on Google's Gemini model completely for free. So let's go ahead and test it out. Hello. Hello, how can I help you today? Tell me more about the latest AI developments. So let's search about Gen AI. So you can see that it used the Wikipedia tool over here and it returns some information about generative AI. So great, our model or our AI agent works perfectly. Let's go ahead and save it. And, and congratulations, you now have a free alternative to OpenAI using Google's Gemini model. If you like this video, also check out this video over here where we learn how to integrate any end with other apps such as Flutterflow and Superbase.